meeting, and we'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> I can ask for approval of this morning's agenda. Make a motion to approve the agenda. I'll second. A motion to second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Motion carries. Next, I can ask for consideration of approval of the minutes from February 22nd and 23rd, 2022. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. I have a motion to second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next, I can ask for consideration of approving the claims for payment dated March 2nd, 2022. Motion to approve the claims for payment. I'll second. I have a motion to second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next item I have is consideration of the ISAC Benefits Program 28 e agreement. Uh, we were informed that we have approximately 20 people on the voluntary accidental death and dismemberment. Uh, policy uh, through reliance standard, and we just need to uh, approve the 28E agreement to keep that effective for those people enrolled. I make a motion to, to approve the 28E agreement with the Iowa State Association of Counties. I will second. Okay. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Mm Hearing -hmm. none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Mark, you're up to bat. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so we've got a few things to talk about. Um, uh, Project AGWA can finally be announced. That is CNI Ag is uh, planning to open a new distribution center in Iowa Falls. They purchased the spec building and are working to build that out to meet their specifications and needs. So hopefully they will not open yet before summer. So we'll see how fast they can get the building done. That's uh, always the question is, can you get contractors there to get things done? Uh, Project RVP has been working, we've been working with them since April. They've had equipment delivered and uh, modifications to the building are still happening and equipment's being installed. Uh, they've informed me they've hired their plant manager and they hope to open up in June. So progress going there. Uh, we continue to meet with Project Harris on our certified site. And we've discussed timelines with them and they would hope to make a, a final decision on the site by the end of this year. So we'll go by then. Okay. We hope. Um, continue to work with a, another prospect on a potential site, new business in Iowa Falls. We've narrowed it down to two sites and we're focusing in on those one in particular and we uh they plan to do a site visit in two weeks so we'll know more after that and nimrod meets meat lockers continuing their construction hope to open up april i'm guessing more in may but again that's how construction and equipment all that stuff comes and is installed uh project joe we can announce that of course that's the new scooters coffee that's going up on the corner of 65 and roxylvania Demolition started this week and the building actually should be down probably by the end of today. Um, I have submitted some marketing material to do a marketing campaign in conjunction with Iowa Economic Development Authority. We're targeting manufacturing firms that will probably run in May. Um, we hosted the uh, Iowa State Center for Industrial Research and Service to present a program about workforce back on May, uh, February 2nd. We had 35 people in attendance uh, representing 19 different companies. And I'm working with uh, Iowa State to move forward to do uh, a uh, community-wide uh, talent and recruitment um, plan. And so uh, we're working on that. Hopefully we'll get a meeting scheduled here um maybe in the month of march we'll see the second meeting with that so seeing how many companies are still interested and how many want to move forward uh, and we uh, continue to explore out op options on housing in the area uh, trying to work with contractors and uh, develop uh, potential sites so uh, continue to move that forward we did receive our new labor shed study from 
from Iowa Workforce Development. And at this point, we're planning to do a lunch and learn probably the week of, I think it's April 18th or 25th. Um, that was really kind of the first opportunity they had to come up and do that. And uh, so we'll let you know about that when that happens. And uh, then also been working with uh, Ken Millerding at the uh, Hardin County Endowment Foundation um, on an application for the, is to do the uh, uh, Huey Marion Coffin Foundation, the Kansas Leadership Center to do listening session uh, with entrepreneurs in our community. And we have, we applied and we're, we're selected as a community that they will uh, come and visit and we're, we're scheduling that meeting for March 29th. It's just taking a look at the entrepreneurial ecosystem and what we can do to support and encourage people starting uh, new businesses and, and helping those who are engaged in small business as well. So, so they're doing listening sessions across four states. And so I was one of those. We were luckily selected as one of the 20 communities that they're going to stop and listen to. So any questions? That's it. I do. I was when it comes to housing, <coughs> is uh, our material costs still the big factor right now? And um, cost and availability. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's still it's still a big problem. Uh, Maxfield Research was one of the companies was the company that we used for our housing study, mm -hmm. and I was talking with them. And that's probably about two weeks ago now, um, and they've seen a couple of uh, housing projects just. Uh, large apartment complexes just come to a grinding halt because costs on those projects have escalated by a you know, million and a half dollars a piece. Right. And I so think just projects like you bond to ramp, just everything, equipment, everything has left the site yeah. for now. So, um, yeah, trying to work around that is yeah. extremely difficult. We need our 3D printed houses. <laughs> well, you know, Iowa State's working on it. Yeah. Uh, there will be on the 11th. Of, I believe it's the 11th of April on that Monday, Iowa State is going to have a housing conference. They're going to talk about best practices. They're going to talk about um, rental inspections. And I don't know if they're going to have anything on the agenda about their 3D printing of homes or not. Because I know their their first ones are going to be down in Hamburg. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. On the southwest West, corner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you keep me up to date on when that uh, the specifics on that sure. April 11th project, that'd be great. Thanks, Brian. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? All right. No, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Taylor, tell us something good. I don't have any of that. <laughs> so tomorrow at noon, I will be visiting with the city of Alden. So I haven't put that on your agenda yet because. Uh, now they're not sure if they want to go through this bridge. So it's a little disappointing for us because we've spent $230,000 on designing it. So, you know, it's time for them to have the serious discussion because all of a sudden now they don't think they can afford it. So I will wait until after that and then I'll let you guys know how it's going. So if any of you want to attend, you can, but I mean, it's nothing we can really do to help them. Right. That's just kind of where we stand for now. What's the, I mean, is the structure of the bridge and everything? I mean, is it, is it still usable for a number, quite a number of years or? Uh, if you limit the traffic on it, probably. The weight limits. Like, time. I think it's, it used to be five years of life. I think they did lower down to two years of life left. Oh, really? Yeah. But I mean, if you drop that tonnage down to maybe only allow passenger cars, then it should last a while. The deck's in pretty rough shape. But if they don't think they can afford the bridge now, they won't. they're they never going to. I mean, it came in at just under $2 million. And you wait a few years, it'll be 2.5. Because mm -hmm. it was a historic structure. So that added to the price. It's downtown. That added to the price. The bedrock's two foot below the surface. That added to the price. So yeah, it's an expensive That's bridge. That's just how it's going to be. So my opinion, it's now or never. But I guess... We'll see what they say because they'd have to come to you guys to propose paying for some of it again in the future if we want to do it so yeah okay it's it's officially their bridge the city's bridge not ours but farm to market 
Correct. That's the only reason like that. But we still don't have to contribute if we don't right. have to. Any other questions on that? I just wondered, I uh, had a question. Um, where are we budget wise on snow removal and stuff like that? Good. Yeah. <laughs> I just wondered, <laughs> yeah. Compared to what we budgeted for, we haven't had as many snow events or heavy snow events. So. Correct. Yeah. Our material costs will probably still, like our contract with salt, we have to buy 80% of what we ordered. Yeah. So I asked Greg how it's looking. He's like, I think we'll get just to the 80 we'll be good okay so yeah so we save a little bit on material and a lot on labor and fuel but we're not done either so right no promises yeah um and equipment wise things in good shape there then as well yeah we had one truck break down completely so it's getting a new engine okay so yeah but other than that it's been good and that is our oldest one that we use like okay. that so yeah could have been worse Sounds good. And is there a bridge inspection crew out working today? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they've been out for a couple of weeks. Okay. Yep. I just saw them this morning. And okay. Anything else, Lance, for me? Okay. No. Nope. All right. Next item I have for consideration are um, a change of status in the sheriff's office. Heather Stacy hired as a communications officer, effective March 9th at a rate of eighteen seventy eight an hour. Make a motion to approve. I'll second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next ad is consideration of a change of status in the conservation department, uh, effective 224 22 for Cam Grubick. Um, Cam has been hired by Benton County, at, by Benton County as a park ranger law enforcement officer. Make a motion to approve. I will second that. Okay. I have a motion to second. Any discussion? Congratulations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next item I have is auditor's report for the month of February. I'll make a motion to approve February's auditor monthly report. I'll second. Okay. I have a motion to second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Other business, Lance? No. Renee? No. Michelle? Michael? <laughs> Jolene? Daryl? No. All right. I can ask for adjournment. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We're adjourned. Thank you.